Assalamu alaikum. Uh, uh, my project is about e-learning for postgraduate medical students. Is it the rescue method for overloaded students? I am Dina Mohammed Arfain, Assistant Professor of Medical Microbiology and Immunology, uh, Faculty of Medicine and Chams University under the supervision of Dr. Uh, Jihan Khalaf. Uh, first of all, I'll give a, a quick overview, a view, uh, overview on my uh, project. Uh, my project is about uh, teaching postgraduate uh, students for medical microbiology and immunology through e-learning uh, uh, through, uh, through e lectures and a uh, course. Uh, with the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, it was a good opportunity to deliver our course online. Uh, postgraduate students are known to have tight schedules and are overloaded, so uh, an online uh, learning uh, was a very uh, adequate uh, method of delivering uh, our knowledge to the students. Uh, about the Gantt chart, uh, first of all, we uh, acquired the IERP approval in February. We formed the project team and presented the plan, uh, the plan at our school in March. Uh, we prepared the learning material from March to May, uh, and we prepared questionnaire for students uh, and also for uh, the faculty for the their satisfaction about the online course. Uploading the learning material and running the course um was from july to september uh, there was a little uh, bit of a delay from july to august uh, because of some technical difficulties that we faced uh, a formative assessment will be held uh, at the end of the course in september followed by analysis and interpretation of our results and finally the poster preparation will be from uh, october to december about the lessons learned uh, first of all, we always plan ahead of time, uh, choose our team carefully, uh, have plan B, be flexible, uh, make use of already available resources, uh, because of uh, all of us have limited uh, resources at our faculties. Uh, if there are any already available resources, it will make things easier. And choose areas that you are an expert at to uh, make, uh, make the maximum benefit to the students. Uh, changes made to the project. I made uh, some changes to the project uh, from the very beginning. Uh, changes are not always uh, disadvantage, but changes may offer chances. I changed the title from distant learning to uh, e-learning based on advice from the, our previous project presentation uh, session. Uh, of course, the timeline uh, was changed due to some technical difficulties. I also changed the platform used. Uh, I uh, used the Microsoft Teams, which is already in use and make, made use of this, uh, this program because our faculty members are uh, trained to use it. Also, this, all the students, uh, the postgraduate students and also the undergraduate students have official means and can enter easily the Microsoft Teams. Uh, the target students also were changed at the very beginning of the project from uh, postgraduate uh, students from clinical masters to uh, students from our uh, department or uh, who are, were uh, enrolled in our medical microbiology masters um, from both the, uh, the department and from external students also. Thank you very much.